Move the sum of five thousand dollars on Article Twenty Nine, as written. I'll second it. Discussion. President Jerry. I'm I'm one hundred percent in favor of this article, except for its location. That location has been cited by the charrettes that have been done in the past for a very developmental type uh, piece of real estate. It's east of the library. It's west of the fire stations. We could use it for an administrative building, commercial space. If we're going to build a war memorial, we should do it on High Street Cemetery. That's my opinion. And I'd be in favor of it. Unfortunately, we don't, we don't have statutory authority to do that. It was on that land before. We should acquire it. <laughs> yeah. Any other discussion on that? Okay. So this is actually going to be put on the old town hall right. land? Right, real estate, filet mignon area. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, yeah. that's kind of like carving out a little piece of contiguous land there, isn't it? Well, actually, that entire parcel, including the parking lot, the, uh, the old courtroom, uh, the old court building, uh, all the way up to the two pieces of land that the school would like to acquire yeah. in the parking lot up and back, uh, the playground, uh, the fire station, that's all one parcel of land. Right. That's would a big parcel. parcel. One parcel. We've had three buildings on it in the past. Yeah. Two of them were removed. Uh, the library would like to reserve the building where the courthouse was. And this building, we had talked to the American Legion, we talked to the board, and the general consensus was, let's see if we can plan something that makes sense and involve the Legion and, and the veterans organizations in town. And if that works, it works. If not, then maybe we need to find another location. But this go back on the, on the front lawn where the courthouse used to be? <laughs> this would be on the next lot where the ta old town hall used to be. Oh, oh you're going to move it towards the fire station. Right. Yeah, I think that's... that's uh, right, still, how that, that how large a monument are they planning on? That they haven't decided. Um, we have... One of the things that we we're talking about is to um, honor everyone who has engaged either in the militia in the town since 1638 up through the armed forces of today. Uh, we have well over 2,000 names that are not currently on any monuments in town. Mr. Cummins? So, Two? Pardon? How many did you say? Over, over 2,000 names of veterans that are not being honored in town. And, and the monument doesn't have to be that large, but we thought of something, either a circular monument or where stones could be placed around a central stone or something of that nature, so it could be expandable. Um, but it's going to be up to a committee to decide that. Uh, there's all kinds of different things that you can do. Uh, we made a mock-up of one that was based upon the United States Military Cemetery in Florence, which is a very nice cemetery. But someone's going to have to sit down and decide how it's going to be designed, what it's going to look like, what it's going to contain. Um, that Warren article couldn't be written location to be determined? subject to design? Yeah, like well, I that's mean. the one that we designated. Oh. Uh, if we need to designate something else, we can come back and change that. I, I, but we need to have some place to start. And and that was important. There was some place to start. Plus, it's the middle of the governmental area of town, which is normally where those monuments would be located. I know, but we have so few parcels left in the center of town, and that's a very valuable one. You can always do away with the cemetery commission and give that authority to the selectmen, and then they could put the, put the facility no, up there. I'm not, not suggesting that. I'm, I want to see it succeed. Yeah. I just see that, you know, more than, one, more than one person has already brought that up. Well, there's not much land left in town to do any of these things. It has to be someplace that's in the open where you mm -hmm. can have ceremonies. It's difficult to find a piece. We've looked. You know, They're just not available. Yeah, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, they're all done at the high school. And all the parades yeah. start there. They come by there. It's, it's, it may be that they'll come back and say, let's use this piece of land rather than this piece of land. But we needed to start with something. And that's all this is intended to do, is to start with something. All right. Once this, end up there. once this is voted on, You'd have to have another warrant article to change the location. Well, we could do that. I don't think unless, that's unless you put words in here to say that tentatively, tentatively a location has been suggested, and then yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like put the word tentative in. You must just take the location out. 
Yeah, that's, that's but true. It, but the way it reads now, it says, you know, the selectmen expect. It doesn't say, it, it doesn't bind. Right, it says expect. No, yeah. Yeah. It, doesn't, it bind doesn't bind us to this particular piece of property. So I'm getting at to be specific that it shouldn't bind you in case you change the location. I don't think it does bind. Based on the design. No. It's, okay. it's, it's, it doesn't say it shall go here. It's right, just expect it. There's, there's no required wording in here. Right. It's permissive. So wouldn't it take some discussion with the cemetery trustees, I guess, to sit down with them? Uh, the town has already attempted to do that in the past and was turned down. I wonder why it's a cemetery. Because they have, <laughs> they need the lots to put yeah. our citizens in when they pass yeah, but they away. They have that feel where we, the ceremonies this are. This is going to take up room, Jerry. This is going to take up some room. Yeah, and, and, and having been a cemetery superintendent, I can tell you that if I had my ops, uh, I wouldn't have put a war memorial in the middle of a municipal cemetery. I'd put it someplace else. <coughs> and it would be someplace where people could see it right. and visit it. I'm going to see it in High Street Cemetery. No. Tim? This is too amorphous to me. I mean, the, the, the location is, is designated, yet uh, how big it's going to be is unknown. It's a it's a valuable piece of property in my mind. It's already a contiguous piece of land that could be used for other uh, more valuable uh, practical reasons. Uh, tax yielding. A, a what building? <laughs> tax yielding. I mean, if you put it in a mystery commercial tax building. Yeah. Well, that would be a more practical reason among many other potential yeah. practical yeah, reasons. Yeah, you make a commercial office uh, building. You know, if we ever take over that shell station on the corner, it might be a great place for it because everybody goes by that, right? Mm -hmm. Including the parade. That's a great So, you know, why should we lock into this particular piece of property? Uh, I, I, I think this idea is, is, is too half baked to fund. That's my opinion. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. Uh, okay. Just a few questions. Um, it says partial fund. What was the anticipated total cost of the project? I don't know. It has to be planned. Okay. Um, and then. If the project were to go through and be on that parcel of land, who would be in charge of maintenance? Would that go into Parks and Rec? It would be either under Parks and Rec or Public Works. Okay. One of the two. Those are my questions, Madam they Chair. They both have contracts to do land management. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Anybody else? Why can't we just take that sentence out? Those selectmen expect to dedicate the town owned land that was the site of the old town hall on Winnicott Road for the erection of the memorial. Oh, well, I think that's why we can't. Well, I mean, we, she's she's suggesting. I'm just that saying, why can't why well why can't be edited? Why can't we, we can't have to vote up or down on what's in front of us? Right, we well, can't change it. Yeah. We'd have to do that at the town meeting. <coughs> at the deliberative session. Yeah. Well, this is to go to public hearings, right. correct? Yeah. Yeah, we can only vote up so, and down. So we vote, can't change vote to, to have it go forward either. to the public hearing, and then when we do our final vote, then do our final vote. We can't change it to the public hearing, but it could be theoretically changed at the literate session, but not in a way that changes the substance. Right. And, right. of course, the land itself would be likely deemed as substantive and not changeable. I agree. If, if you want to make a recommendation to the selectman, I'll be happy to carry it back. You know, my recommendation was would be to more fully bake the idea. I, right. The idea itself I kind of like, but it's not baked enough to fund. Well, unfortunately, one of the problems you have in, in doing something like this is that you have a, a, a group of organizations in the community who have to take part and participate in the planning. Until it's planned, uh, it's not going to be sufficient to vet. And, and it's just one of those things. That which comes first, the plan or the memorial? Well, I vote for the plan coming first. That's why the article's here. It's $5,000 for planning. Planning. Does it doesn't say that, does it? Yeah. 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 Partially construct. Planning and construction. It costs less than 5000 well, and you've the got some money. Of land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, no, if it were $5,000 for a plan, that might be too much money, but I'd be much more favorable if it just said, let's throw some money at generating a plan. I'd be favorable to that. But it says it's just partial. It says 5000 to provide partial funding. For planning and construction, construction. and it also allocates uh, you know, a very valuable piece of property. So if they don't spend the $5,000, they can now, move that. Now, one at a time, hands over. up, please. Thank you. Jerry? No, no, I, I just I agree with... Uh, them uh, that, that I think uh, we all like the idea. We all like the idea. We all like this idea. We don't. I don't like the location. I think it ought to be 
if we could get that location edited out of here and make this thing such that the location can be selected, you know, um, in, in some manner uh, through committees or through uh, organizations that uh, a lot of people have an opportunity to pass their opinion on. Next all is to produce a detailed plan. I'd be happy to buy into that because I do like the idea. Yeah. <coughs> We're also taking this out of the unexpended funds, correct? Correct. Still taxpayer money. Yeah. Mm. It all is. Yeah. All right. I think we're, well, be a tough vote. I think <coughs> all around the table I hear that we like the idea and the concept, but there's a lack of a plan. It's an easy no vote for me, Madam Chair. And I'm um, ready to cast it. I'm sure the veterans will appreciate it. Well, the veterans can know that I'm in favor of the idea. I just want to see the detailed plan. I'm defending the taxpayers just as they were when they put on a uniform and put a gun in the hand, just as I did back then. I do now. So did I. Okay, so we're all in favor of that point, but not in this. <laughs> not in favor of this warrant item. Well, as, I think as I said, that's that's where my vote understand. is cast. You can <laughs> okay. vote as you will. We understand. I think we're ready for a vote. <laughs> all right. All those in favor of this warrant article. All those. Well, wait a minute. Let me take a. Favors, yeah. Bill, we did favor. Yeah, the selectmen did vote to do tally votes. What are we voting on? Yes or yeah, no? Yeah, just keep this your hands yes. up because I don't yes count because it's, yes. it's a divided vote. So it's Bean, Nick Bridal, Scott Blair, Sonny Kravitz, Jim O'Loughlin. Sandra, Sandra Nickerson, Nickerson, who has several, shockingly, and several Bob Ladd. Several veterans in her family, two of which just came home from well, the Middle East. Well, I assure East. you, with a name like Jones, I can probably outnumber you. Two on that of one. which just came home from the Middle East. Thank you very much. All right, good to have him back. And Bob Ladd for that vote as well. Yes, I said Bob Ladd. Okay. okay, and I've got Bob. So I've got Phil, Nick, Scott, Sonny, Jim, Sandy, and Bob. Correct? All right. And we have 13 here, so it passes. Did I have any abstentions? How many did you count? Wasn't here, yeah. He's absent. We have 13 people there. You got 13 here. We're voting in the favor. Huh? How many voted in favor? Seven. Seven. Thank you. That's what I just said. Now I know. <coughs> okay, and I'm sorry, were there any abstentions? None? Okay. No, the rest of us are all being So the other opposed. six were no. 